In this video, we're doing yet another related rates problem, uh, in this case involving softball. So take a moment and read this problem. Thank you for reading the problem. Now, uh, the first thing I want to do here is draw a picture of what's going on. So I have a softball diamond. Uh, the bases are 60 feet apart. We have the player running from second base to third base. Um, and so let's go ahead and, and what, we're, what we want to know is what we're trying to find is the distance uh, from the player to home changing. So player to home would be that distance there. So let's go ahead and call that Y. Let's refer to the side that the player is doing as X. So we're trying to find dy dt, and we're trying to find that uh, when the player is 10 feet from third. So if the player is 10 feet from third, uh, that's when x is 10. So let's go ahead and say x is 10, and our known rate of change is that the player is running at 25 feet per second. Now notice that the distance, as the player is running from second to third, that distance for x is getting smaller. So because it's getting smaller, we're going to have a negative rate of change. So dx dt is a negative 25 feet per second. Now we're going to need a formula. And because we have a right triangle, we can go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have x squared plus 60 squared is equal to y squared. Well, the next step is to do the derivative. So let's go ahead and do the derivative of that. Remember, it's implicit differentiation. So x squared becomes 2x dx dt. 60 squared becomes 0, and y squared becomes 2y dy dt. Now we're trying to solve for dy dt, so let's go ahead and do that. We have dy dt is equal to x over y dx dt. Now it's time to start plugging in some values. Now we know that x is 10. So if we come up here and we label a 10 for our triangle, I'm going to pull that triangle out so we can see it better. That's a 10. That's a 60. We want to find y. So time to do the Pythagorean theorem. Unfortunately, this is not a triple. So we're going to go 10 squared plus 60 squared is y squared. That's 100 plus 3,600 is equal to y squared. That's 3,700 is equal to y squared. We could square root that and simplify that. If we think of that as 37 times 100, we could say y is 10 root 37. So now, if we come over to dy dt, we have dy dt is equal to x over y. So remember, x was 10. y is 10 root 37. And dx dt was a negative 25. Well, notice our 10s here are going to cross out. So dy dt is equal to negative 25 over root 37. And this is in feet per second. 